Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, in this episode, we do some old vintage black and white using Lightroom and grain. Bonjour mesdames et messieurs and welcome to episode 68 of my photography, Lightroom and Photoshop tips. My name is Serge Amélie, I'm a French photographer living in Paris, France. Last episode, I showed you how to do a long exposure shot. I showed you a bit the gears that you needed and how to retouch it and different little tips and tricks on that. Check out last week's episode if you didn't get a chance. This week, I will show you how to do some old vintage black and white with a photo that I took in Montmartre in Paris. I'm doing this black and white tutorial because I have a new release coming. It's called the Lightroom 5 black and white photography. The whole idea is that I did two classes of black and white with Jean-Michel Bertz using Photoshop, but a lot of people only have Lightroom. So this is for Lightroom users, how to make artistic black and white. Let me show you this new training and also this little tutorial. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. So two things before we get started. Uh, I have a special announcement. This week it's Halloween and on my website, photosearch.com, you can get 30% on all my products. Let me show you how that works. That works with a code called Halloween. All you have to do is click, for example, let's say you want to buy the Lightroom 5 full training and my full workflow training, which is already $107 instead of $124, where you just click on direct download and you write Halloween, that's the discount code, you apply it and this, and you're gonna have $32 less, so it's gonna cost you $74 for the entire bundle, which includes uh, lots and lots of videos. It's about 12 hours of videos. So it's a special price for this week for Halloween, minus 30%. The second thing I wanna show you before we get started with our little podcast here is uh, I have a new course that comes out, The Art of Black and White with Lightroom, Volume 1. And this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time since I did the Jean-Michel Bertz course. A lot of people ask me, uh, you know, how do you do black and white in Lightroom? How can you mimic? Okay, you cannot do as good as Jean-Michel, but we can do some good, nice effects. So let me show you all the before and after of that new course. I'm going to start off with this simple photo from uh, Cassis in the south of France. And this will be the final result. And this photo is going to give you like the basics of all my black and white techniques and what I've learned also from Jean-Michel Bertz. Then I'm gonna take a, I will explain you how I do lone exposure shots and we'll make two variation. We'll make like a sort of a bright version of it and a dark version of it using different black and white techniques, a lot of dodge and burning, but I think I'll believe you will learn a few things. Uh, same thing with this lone exposure photo. There is a trend on the internet doing very graphical black and white. Uh, so that's one, that's the before, and that's uh, the after photo. Very graphical type of composition. And then I will show you how I did and give you all the raw files of my most, one of my most famous black and white photo. Uh, this is, let me just show you the final result. Is This is a four photo photo. Uh, yeah, it's one of, um, one of my preferred black and white photo ever. You will get the raw file. I'll show you the, the full workflow of how I did this photo from A to Z. And then we're gonna have fun. We're gonna do some fun stuff with black and white. We're gonna take this photo of a nice hotel in uh, south of France and turn it into a very dramatic selective black and white like this. Uh, I'm also gonna show you how to retouch portraits with black and white. That's just a regular photo. And that's the final photo where I played around. I call this from darkness. You know, making everything black except the girl coming out of it. And then I'm gonna show you an amazing plugin from Google called Silver FX Pro. They have this plugin, it's called the Nick Collection that Google bought. And the most famous one is Silver FX Pro. And this is the before photo. And we're gonna do some real drama using the Silver FX Pro, giving a little tint. You will see it's a, quite an amazing, an amazing plugin where you can do, have great results in no time. And with that course, I will also offer you 12 presets so you can do all this type of effects on your photo very fast, including, uh, portrait presets, landscape presets, sepia presets, all kind of presets uh, that I will show you uh, in this tutorial. Okay, now, this week's tutorial, as this is a black and white week, it's the black and white Halloween week, I wanna show you something with this photo. This is a photo of an old street in Paris, the Montmartre area, it's a very famous place, and I wanna give it a very, very ancient look. And um, so I wanna show you how I did that. Uh, it's a bit, you know, you know the drill now. I open up the shadows and bring down the highlights. And then I'm going to do my whites and my blacks. 
the only thing is uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into the uh, camera, not camera calibration. I'm going to go into the lens correction and do the basic upright function. Now look at this on this photo, what it does. It really makes everything straight. I kind of like that. Uh, and now I'm going to go to my black and white conversion, which is here and convert it into black and white. Now, when you convert to black and white, you have this tool, which is kind of cool. It's called the uh, target tool where you can just go anywhere. And um, for example, I can click here on the sky. And if I drag down my mouse, I'm going to make the sky a bit darker. Or if I make it up, I'm going to make it brighter. OK, just like I want. So you can select like this color. I could make it brighter or darker. You know, you can sort of work on your black and white. All I'm going to do on this one is maybe get the sky to be a bit, uh, yeah, a bit darker. I like darker sky. And that's about it. Now, two things I want to do to give a, like an old feeling to this photo is I want to uh, go into the split toning. Now, split toning is, uh, works a bit different when you convert it to black and white. It gives, it gives this uh, sort of tint that you see sometimes. What I want to do on this one is I want to get the shadows to be a, have some blue in it, but not that much. So I just take a blue and then I back it down. Okay. And uh, I want to add a bit of orange in the highlights, like orange, yellow to make it old. And I'm going to back it down also. I just want to give it a little, little tint from the past. You know, some old black and white photo has this type of chemicals and this type of look. Okay. Now, if I really wanted to make like an old photo, what I could do is instead of adding clarity, which is kind of nice, I could go the other way on clarity. And if you go the other way, it's going to give a bit of a, an oldish look, you know, and um, you can even go further if you want. I'll show you a little trick that Glenn Day was showing me, which I kind of like is you can get the noise reduction. You can push the noise reduction a lot and bring down details. And if you do that, it's going to give like a, a very cartoonish type of look of your photo. You can do the same thing with colors, bring the colors the whole way and bring the details the whole way down. And uh, I don't know if you can tell, but let me show you be the before and after of that nose reduction. Sometimes it does something pretty, pretty cool. Uh, it takes like all the details out and makes like a cartoonish type of photo. So if you're looking for this type of effect, you can try that. I'm not necessarily looking for that. So I'm going to back down the luminance, the colors, bring back some details. But that's if it, that's an effect that you could go for. But you see, I went the other way uh, around. Now to really make it very old, I'm going to use something that I've never showed before in any video because I don't use it much. It's the grain. I'm going to add some grain. And I'm going to add some serious grain. I'm going to add like 50% of grain. Check it out. You know, it's like very grainish and um, maybe boost the size of the grain. Okay. And then I'm going to use the post crop vignetting or I'm going to do my own post crop vignetting on this one. I'm going to take the, the ND filter and I'm going to back this down, back down this photo. And what I do is this, I make this very dark and then I take the middle point and I go up. Okay. Oh, some Dropbox messages. I'm sorry for that. And then I'm going to, oops, do the same thing here, you know, just to make it a bit more interesting. I like to do my own vignetting than using the vignette effect. And uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to go on this. Yeah, that's about it. Now that, that is not what you're going to learn in the Lightroom 5 training because I go a lot more into like how you dodge and burn and how you give volume to things. So this is just a little fast video of, I just want to show you this sort of like very oldish effect that you can do, uh, which can be kind of cool with the grain. So let me show you that's uh, the before photo. And that's the after photo. We gave it like a very ancient look uh, using this option in Lightroom with this little blue tint. And um, also with the Lightroom 5 training, as I said, you're going to get 12 presets. One of them includes this very old type of presets and this blue tint presets. You get all that if you buy that Lightroom 5 training. Okay, guys, well, thank you for being there. And let's go back to me. Okay, guys, so I hope you like that and you will check out this tutorial on Lightroom 5, I put a lot of work into it and I think you will learn a few things which are very interesting. Plus you get all the presets and you get all the raw files. And you have 30% discount if you take it this week, the week of Halloween. Thank you very much for being there guys and I'll see you next week.